On this video, I will build something very stupid, which is this stove made from wood. And at the end of the video, I will light it on fire in my cabin by the lake. Before doing that, I will show how I actually built this. And uh, my guess is that it will maybe last for 15 minutes before it's completely gone once I light it up. Let me know in the comments before you see the actual end result, how long do you think it will last? And let's see who gets closest one. Now, you might wonder, why would anyone build something like this? I really don't have a good answer. I just wanted to see how long it will last. The idea for this build actually came from a friend who sent me this message in WhatsApp a couple of months ago. Ever since I saw that picture, for some reason the idea never left my head, so I knew I would eventually build one and now seemed to be a good time for it. This is obviously not really fine furniture, so I'm using the cheapest construction grade wood I could find at my local store. And also the build quality really didn't need to be perfect. But I still made sure to mill everything to a decent level and I especially paid attention that all the glue lines and seams were closed. So that the eventual flames wouldn't have a direct route out once I light it up. And because of those reasons, it was actually quite fun and quick to build this one. What I'm doing now is making the first panels and I only used glue. I didn't want to find a ton of used screws or other fasteners from my cabin after the certain destruction that this will be facing. I also decided to strengthen the structure by making all the walls double layered with cross lamination, just to hopefully make it last a bit longer. To be honest, I had absolutely no clue if this will make any difference or not. But now would be a good time for you to comment your guess. How long before the structure has completely failed? As I mentioned in the beginning, my guess was that after 15 minutes this thing will be completely gone. So make your guess and watch ahead to see how close I was. After the panels were dry, I then quickly cut them to square and equal length to make the glue up easier and end result pretty. No harm in trying to make it look reasonable, even though I'm not building any fine furniture here. And now you can see one example what happens when I don't pay close attention to where my camera is. I guess the tripod was touching the panel because once I moved it, the camera went straight down. But it didn't break, so no harm done. No fancy joinery needed here, so with the help of me cutting these panels to exactly the same measurements, I could just do a simple glue up with a few clamps. Then I laminated the back piece as well by measuring and cutting a piece that fit just perfectly in. After the structure was done, I gave it a quick sanding which I did mainly to prevent splinters, because I really, really hate splinters in my hands. Then it was time to attach the door and the handle, and I probably should have done this with the same double layer structure than the others. You can probably guess why I'm saying it. Watch ahead to see which parts fail first. As you might have guessed, I'm just winging it while building, so I didn't really have any plan. I just looked at the WhatsApp image and started building somewhat similar structure. When it comes to the chimney, I was thinking that I don't want to make a hole all the way through for the entire diameter, because that would create an easy way for the fire to destroy this very quickly. So I decided to make a hole with jigsaw and then use my router to make a groove where the chimney can sit and that was also nice since I didn't need to use any fasteners here either. Only glue like before. That was a quick recap on how I built it. Now would be your last chance to make your guess in comments how long will this last when I light it up. You'll see that I drove to my cabin by the lake, since I obviously didn't want to try this out near any building that could catch the fire. And as I'm based in Finland and it's January, you can't really see the lake since it's frozen, but trust me, it's there. So there it goes. I guess this is the more interesting part of the video. Now we'll see how my 15 minute guess worked out.
The background noise you hear is coming from a forest harvester. It seems my neighbor has decided to sell some of the forest he has. After the fire caught up properly, I decided to add some more wood and I'm using mainly the scrap pieces that were left after building this. I also have a fair amount of properly dried logs from birch, so it should be a very decent fire that I'm creating here. About 10 minutes in and it's not even warm to the touch yet, I can easily touch it, so my 15 minute guess really didn't work out. But we start to see what will most likely be the first part to fail, which is the door. This is at 14 minutes, so in order for my guess to work, this should basically explode within the next 30 seconds, which it didn't. So let's see how long does it actually take for it to completely catch the fire and collapse. Twenty-eight minutes. We are now at thirty-five minutes. Less than 50 minutes now. It's quite warm here. Still holding. So it's now been one hour. I think it's gone. So whoever guessed one hour. I would say that's roughly correct. Ah, hot, hot, hot. So there it is. For anyone who guessed one hour, I'd say that's fairly close to the point when it had completely collapsed. For the ones interested, here's feed from another camera. Roughly one hour of footage. Speed it up so that you can see it in 35 seconds. With this, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any ideas of other things to build from wood, which shouldn't be built from wood, let me know, and I just might try it out in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you like the content, please subscribe, it really helps the channel.